Hello friends, my name is Abhinandan and today we are going to discuss about how we can track contact form 7 submission in WordPress using Google Tag Manager. So let's go to our computer screen and check how we can do that. So this is my Google Tag Manager account. This is Google Analytics GA4 account, right? And this is the website in which we are we are going to track the contact form seven submission, right? So uh, there is a way like we can track using thank you page also, but sometimes what happened we don't have access to the backend and the form which is given to us which we need to track it is a ajax form it does not have any redirection right so if you fill the form here and submit it in the same page it will show you a thank you message rather than redirecting to your to uh, you to a, a thank you page right so let me refresh this page and come to our Google Tag Manager. Here, if you want to uh, like track the uh, contact form 7 submission, first of all, you have to inject a JavaScript code in each and every page of your website, right? Because there are some DOM events. DOM means document object model. Uh, if you want to go deeper on, into it, this you can check. Uh, some resources uh, on JavaScript, right? Uh, so uh, if you uh, check the DOM events, what are the DOM events in Contact Form 7? So there are few DOM events like WPCF7 invalid, uh, WPCF7 uh, spam. So WP is WordPress, CF is Contact Form and 7 and mail sent. So we will, uh, uh, there are near about five DOM events. So we will use this mail send event right in our javascript code so here this is a javascript code i will give a link share a link in the description below uh, this code we need to install in each and every page of the website right so for this we will create a listener tag here just go to the tag tab tab create click at the new tab tag then right here cf7 even Listener. This is a listener. Just click at bit, uh, in between. Select custom HTML. Just copy this code. Paste this code in this and trigger this tag in all pages. Okay, and then save this CF7 event listener. Now try this, whether this triggers or not. Press connect. Now check whether this CF7 event listener has been triggered or not. So this is already triggered, right? Let's try to fill the form. Press submit. Let's check what happened so on uh, nothing special but here you can see cf7 submit has been initiated just click here so event what is the event name cf7 submit has been uh, initiated uh, this event has been pushed into the data layer right 
to go to data layer you can check this event has been pushed to the data layer so now what we have to do just uh, finish this thing from here and here just create a variable with the name of form id with this name because like every page have different contact form 7 so we have to track which form has been submitted right so for this we have to track the cf7 using form id now in the variable just create a custom variable i have already created this so you can check let me uh, if you want to uh, create press new in the variable CF7 form ID this now this should be data data layer variable because data is coming from uh, this uh, the variable uh, is coming from data layer so just press data layer here data layer variable name you have to put the data data layer variable name so select form id copy then paste this here form id this is case sensitive even we can select this one right cf7 form id now save this now the cf7 form id has been saved this one right now go to tag again now we have injected javascript code in each and every pages of the website and we have uh, the variable when the event is triggered uh, the uh, we we uh, got a variable uh, from uh, uh, data layer uh, we have taken a, a variable uh, value from the data layer now we have to create a tag again press the new mm -hmm. cf7 submit right this one now <clears throat> when the form submission have been taken place we have to send th that uh, submission event to ga4 so we have to uh, select ga4 event here in configuration tag just select ga4 configuration event name so we have to select the event name as it is from here cf7 submit copy paste here event parameter so just select the cf7 form id value cf7 form id so here we can write form id right now trigger so here uh, we need to create a custom event custom event select custom event event name cf7 submit all custom events now save this event right save this 
now your event listener you have created you have created a custom event tag also uh, which will send the data to GA4 now try to paste this one press preview now connect it You can check CF7 event listener has been triggered. Right now, just try to fill the form, and even in this uh, view, real time uh, in, in uh, GA4. So it's also showing that uh, one user is there currently. Now just put your mail ID here. <clears throat> so let me put the subject line and press submit button. So here you have submitted the uh, CF7 form and uh, CF7 submit trigger uh, tag is also triggered. Now let's go to data layer. Here CF7 uh, events has been initiated. Right? Let's go to our Google Analytics. Now here you uh, here also you can see that CF, uh, CF7 submit event has taken place, right? So uh, here try to refresh it and try to fill another form again. submit it so two times this particular tag is fired two times right and in GA4 also So CF7 submit event taken place two times, right? So now it's tracking uh, contact form seven submission. So uh, friends, in this way you can track contact form seven submission in your WordPress website, even if you don't have access to your backend uh, and the form is AJAX form rather than a, uh, a, it does not have any redirection to thank you page. Right. Uh, so more interesting uh, for more interesting video, you can subscribe my channel and you can press the uh, bell icon so that you can get the notification uh, directly into your inbox. Uh, thank you that you watched my channel and thank you very much.